I'm about to lose my fucking mind. FaZe Clan is fucked, bro. What's good, guys? Kel here. In case you haven't heard, FaZe Clan is in a shit ton of trouble. FaZe Banks is pissed off, and all the new members really, really, really fucked up big time. Let's dive into it. Okay, quick disclaimer, I don't know a ton about these newer members. Like, obviously, I've seen quite a few clips and stuff from them, but I don't know a lot about their background, so please correct me in the comments if I get anything wrong throughout this video. Anyways, yeah, FaZe is getting kicked out of their new crib, and to be honest, I think it's somewhat justified, because the shit they did was fucking insane. So let's this whole thing started with black boy max and jason the ween both of them being part of the new phase house honestly they're probably two of my more favorite creators in the house like they seem pretty chill and they're funny as fuck anyways jason was hanging out with some girls during one of his streams and max being the cock block that he is decided hey i'ma head over there and see what the fuck is going on and let's just say i don't think things ended up going how he thought they were gonna go like me and anyone in this room there's no there's none of that so there's no reason for you like come on bro now you pissing me off So yeah, Max pretty much just mounted Jason and started going to town on him. You can interpret that however you want, by the way. Like, the way he moved up into Jason's ass cheeks was definitely intentional. You can't convince me otherwise. Anyways, once he eventually got off him, Max realized that he actually wanted more of him and proceeded to try and fight Jason again, instantly hopping on Jason and riding him until he squealed like a pig. And no one knew it at the time, but that was the beginning of a war that would end in disaster. In life, when someone fucks with you, your natural instinct is to fuck with them back, which is what Jason decided to do. And because he obviously couldn't beat him in an all-out brawl, he decided to do the next best thing. Expose Max's five head. Jason is fucked, bro. I've never seen someone get so mad at their hairline being exposed. But hey, I get it. My shit's fucked up too, bro. We're in the same boat. Also, I think he was on some kind of e-date or some shit. I'm not really sure. But if he was, that's probably the last thing he wanted to happen. So it's safe to say he was pissed. But before he was even able to retaliate, before he was able to harm a single hair on Jason's head, Jason decided to double down and go in for the kill again. I mean, I'll take Damn, this this can't make you look ugly, gang. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Okay, I feel like he's doing too much at this point. Like, I don't think that crash out was really deserved, to be honest. Like, look at the girl he's on call with. She's just like, what the fuck did I sign up for? She does not want to be there. But regardless of if the reaction was justified or not, it doesn't really matter. Because like I said earlier, when someone messes with you, you mess with them. And that's exactly what Max did. But what Max did eventually led to FaZe getting evicted. And well, here, I'll just play the clip. Can we throw it off Silky's balcony? Yeah. Alright. Move, nigga. I don't think it'll. Hold on. What are you trying to do right now? Pick a side, and if it's not my side, it's the other side, nigga. Damn, it seemed like Max really needed that, I can't lie. But yeah, they threw Jason's bed into the pool, and on the surface, it really doesn't seem that bad, but it's what Max's revenge led to that made this whole situation that much worse. Yet again, Jason obviously had to get back at Max, I mean, the guy doesn't have a place to sleep anymore, and so he decided to really kick it up a notch. And instead of explaining the whole thing, I'll just roll the clip. Oh my god! <laughs> 
Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Oh! Now you definitely ain't going nowhere. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah. damn it! Yeah! What does that smell? Oh, that shit smell like that shit smell terrible! What does that smell? So yeah, Jason's attempt to get back at Max was honestly just a shit show. Like, Jason didn't even get any flower on Max. You could see him sitting in his chair in the background, twiddling his thumbs. He seems so done with their shit, to be honest. I mean, what else is he supposed to do but sit there and accept his fate? Also, was that fart spray or whatever it's called? That shit is so bad, bro. I remember some kid from my high school brought some in during April Fool's, and the entire building smelled so bad, they genuinely considered canceling classes until it could air out. Anyways, Jason eventually got down to Max, and the struggle that ensued might be the funniest thing I've ever Ever seen. What is that? Oh, shit! No! Bro, you could tell Max had Jason right where he wanted, but then just got all his dreams crushed by the cameraman. That honestly might be the biggest L I've ever seen. To me, it kind of seems like they're actually fighting at this point. Like, you could have made the argument that all of this was for content, which I mean, it is, but it seems like there's something deeper because they're really going at each other right now. Honestly, it's probably good for them, you know, getting their anger out on each other. Like, at least no one was seriously hurt or anything. I kind of feel bad for Jason, though. Like, he's trying his hardest to fuck Max up, and he just gets dominated every time. But luckily for him, Jason has a mind of steel. He wasn't gonna stop and just give up. Oh no, he decided to go in for a third time and test his luck again. Spoiler alert, it didn't go well. So the stream cut out there, but you could tell the entire house was a mess. Flour was everywhere, water was everywhere, and in case you didn't know, cleaning those two things up once they're combined is fucking horrendous, bro. At the end of the day, though, it's fun and games, it's content, they're not seriously hurting anyone or anything like that, but just imagine you're the owner of the house and you see your tenants trashing your fucking house like it's theirs to trash. Obviously, you're gonna be a little ticked off. Cause I mean, FaZe doesn't actually own the house they live in, they rent it, which first of all, I don't get why they wouldn't just buy their own, they're fucking loaded, but I guess that's besides the point because the owner of the house reached out to FaZe Banks and Banks put out a voice memo kind of just explaining the whole situation. So we just officially got evicted from the crib. I fucking told these kids, man, we're on homeowner called fucking Tav. We're figuring it out now. Griffin's calling me off the hook. You guys don't even know who these fucking people are. Guys, I'm about to lose my fucking mind. I was already overwhelmed and stressed before today, feeling like the fucking wheels are falling off. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. We're trying to run this shit, run this shit up with no fucking budget, no fucking help. We have a ton of help from a ton of good people, but guys, it fucking feels like that sometimes, man. Like, I love these kids, but what the fuck, Max? Like, I told these kids, this is all behind the scenes shit, too, and then I come out looking like the bad guy going crazy. What the fuck's this fool talking about? I told these fucking kids, we're on our last strike with this crib, okay? We're supposed to do build-outs and production all week to set up for this fucking September subathon thing, what these fucking kids wanted, right? Cameras with different angles and build-outs and fucking fucking design each room. We had so many fucking cool things planned for this shit and it was all going to be started building out tomorrow and we just got fully evicted from the crib. Any ideas, any interns have properties in LA? Yeah, no, I, I don't know. I don't know. I need help. Why does Banks low-key remind me of a divorced dad that just got the kids for a weekend and is now realizing that they're just too much for him? I honestly feel bad for the guy. Like, I'm sure so much work and effort went into getting this house set up so all the FaZe guys could make content, and they're kind of just throwing it away like it doesn't mean anything to them. Anyways, Banks stated that he was just done with the whole situation and was going to be taking a little break from Twitter, which I respect. Like, that platform is actually just the most negative, hateful place on the internet. I hope he doesn't take all of this too badly, though, because I really feel for the guy. Like, he spent most of his life making making content himself and is now trying to uplift and provide all these other creators with the possibilities of doing it themselves and they just seem so ungrateful and don't really seem to understand what's going on behind the scenes. I don't know bro, I know the old phase is never really gonna come back but deep in my heart I feel like they could be doing better than this. Just my opinion though, let me know what you think about the whole situation in the comments below. Also be sure to like and subscribe, it helps me out a ton with the algorithm. As always, it's been me Kel and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.